Very early in the morning, before the sun takes its place in the sky, a woman stands in yet another garden, spices in hand, repeating the same question. Why? This is the scene on Sunday. Two men walking down a seven mile road, unpacking all the thoughts that crowd in their head. The man that they thought was the savior of the world, this man, this Jesus. Now this man was dead. This is the scene on Sunday. A group of fishermen rowing along in their boat, just going back to what they did before. A voice cries out, have you not caught anything? There's a mysterious man waiting on the shore. This is the scene on Sunday. Sunday starts in the dark, but soon comes a spark of revolution of revelation, of real elation, with the realization that he is real, and so is his nation. On Sunday, the stone is rolled away. The enemy is at bay, and redemption's here to stay. On Sunday, the nets overflow. The angels simply glow, and the linen lies folded, white as snow. On Sunday, he's recognized when the bread is broken and the dead are awoken and a new word is spoken. On Sunday, we receive our sign that he is the vine, so let his light shine. On Sunday, Herod was wrong. The grave was not strong and we finally belong. So sing a new song because on Sunday, the dead rise as he opens our eyes, lifting our hands to the skies. On Sunday, Peter takes a dive while the fishermen thrive, to Emmaus we arrive, and love is alive. On Sunday, we don't search for the living among the dead. On Sunday, we became the body, and he became the head, and redeemed every tear that has ever been shed. On Sunday, we head in a new direction, because there's been an intersection between reflection and perfection, and that connection, that's right, we call it resurrection. In John 19, Verse 41, it says that they laid Jesus to rest in a tomb in the middle of a garden. And I think that was their biggest mistake. Because if you want something to stay dead, you don't bury it in a garden where the voice of the one who created the very soil itself will call forth to his son, saying, rise up and live. He is the gardener whispering our name. He is the stranger on Emmaus Road. He is the mysterious man calling from the shore. On Sunday, will you recognize him? On Sunday, will you answer him? On Sunday, will you rise up and live?